Hi there, it's Lara here with Witchy Wednesday for the week of October 25th. Um, so last week I got a little emotional on you. <laughs> um, but you know, that's that's life, right? Um, I was feeling that way and I know that a lot of you were too. And so I try to keep it as real as possible here. And um, and so, you know, um, that's 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 what transpired. Um, and truth be told, I'm I'm still not feeling a hundred percent this week. I'm going through a bit of a um a period of of really sort of deep reflection, and I, I need to connect um more deeply with uh, my soul, really, my inner workings. And so that's what uh, that's what I've been doing this week. I've been laying pretty low, and um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing um, as I go through the reading because it's it's pertinent. And um, before I, I get to the reading, um, a couple of quick things. Of course, if you want to get your own personal reading with me, then you can follow the links uh, here on YouTube or you can go to my website, larainewellbarrett.ca, and you can go to the services page there and find out uh, how to order a reading and what that entails. Um, I'm going to do a video soon, I think, about the, that process and, and what it looks like, just to answer some questions that I get from people uh, fairly regularly. Okay. And the second thing is, if you are feeling um, a real need to really um, do some of your own self-reflection and a real need for some some serious connection with your own soul and um, some self-care, then I have an online class that's always enrolling. It's called Be Your Own BFF and um, 21 Days of Radical Self-Care. And so there's some people in class, you know, gradually working their way through the, uh, the class because it's self-paced and it's online. So it's totally convenient regardless of your schedule. And uh, I pop in and out to, to check on how people are doing and give feedback and that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that, then you can check that out on the e-courses page of my website. Okay, so I just want to explain a little bit about what happened with the reading today. Um, normally when I do these, I just choose one card and keep it, to, you, you know, keep it to that. One card is a general sort of theme message for the week. And I tie in, if it's appropriate or if I'm feeling it, um, the astrology or, you know, some of it anyways. So what happened was I chose the first card for us today from the Call It Baron Reed Wisdom of Avalon deck, which is one of my favorite uh, Oracle decks because it's the first one that I ever owned. And um, I feel a real connection to it. I tend to read, I read tarot more now um, than using just general Oracle cards, but uh, I still do still use the Oracle cards um, sometimes. So I chose from that deck first and I a card came up and I'll, I'll show it to you shortly. Um, and I was like, hmm, okay. So what happens in my personal readings that I do, which I, I just generally do three card readings um, for people because for a few reasons, it keeps the message quite simple and succinct. It's not too complicated. Um, I can really, you know, zone in on what needs to be um, what needs to come up and what needs to be uh, revealed and talked about. And um, it, it breaks it down nicely um, in three parts. So, so that's what I tend to do. But once in a while, what happens is I will do the three cards and then I'll feel like the message is incomplete or there's something else that wants to be said or come up and, um, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll choose another card for the person. And usually it will be from a different deck. So that's kind of what happened today with Witchy Wednesday. Uh, I chose that first card and then um, I needed some, I felt like I needed some clarity or more needed to come out. Excuse me. Um, and so I went to a different deck, the Witch's Tarot this time, and I chose a second card and I thought, hmm, okay, I think I know where this is going. And just to be certain, I chose a third card from the same deck. And sure enough, um, it makes perfect sense as these things do. So I'm going to just 
briefly say a little bit about the astrology before I, I talk to you about the cards, just very briefly um, to give you a general sense of where the, the energy is at right now for us. We're in officially a uh, Scorpio season. So happy birthday if you happen to be a Scorpio sun sign. Um, you know, there's way more to astrology than sun sign horoscopes. And I really feel like I need to say that, you know, because, you know, as I mentioned to you at the top of the video, um, I'm really feeling a need to sort of step away from the superficiality of of things in general of um and and of the work that I do and the astrology um that I study evolutionary astrology um with a guy my my teacher is a guy named Mark Jones you know I learned from a lot of other people as well but uh specifically with Mark Jones and he has a very therapeutic astro approach um to astrology and uh he's also a psychotherapist and he um his work is very, very deep and very um, therapeutic. And, you know, he takes working with people very, very seriously um, because this is people's lives that, uh, you know, we're talking about here. And um, it's not something to be taken lightly. And so that's how I feel about it too. Um, but having said that, you know, um, most people are familiar with, with their horoscope and uh, I do believe that there's a way of getting that information across in, um, you know, a more sort of in, uh, you know, a way that's more um, in integrity and uh, deep, that kind of thing. There's an astrologer I also really admire. Her name is uh, Chani Nicholas, and she writes, she does write horoscopes, but they're very different than a lot of astrologers. So, um you know, sorry if I'm getting a little rambly with you here, but I, I just really want to, to talk. I feel like I want to talk a little bit more about what it is I do on, on that end of things and, um, you know, what I what I believe and uh, as far as uh, the work that I do. So um, as I was saying to you, it's Scorpio season, right? And Scorpio is all about the depth and um, really getting to the bottom of things. Um, Scorpio will take nothing less than the truth. And so um, the sun is in Scorpio right now, but Jupiter, as I've mentioned a couple of times, is also in Scorpio and will be for the next year. And so Jupiter expands whatever it touches, really. Um, you know, it's about more than that, but really that at its essence, that's that's what it's about. And so um, you know, Jupiter is, is speaking with Scorpio right now. And so we're seeing all kinds of, uh, you know, kind of intense things coming up and truths being, um, disclosed. And we're going to see more and more of that, I think, as the year goes on, um, just sort of on a collective level. So, also right now, um, the planet Mercury, which is, which is associated with communication, is in Scorpio. And so deep communication, right? Not on the surface communication, not superficial communication. Um, that's sort of where the energy is at right now. And I'm feeling that big time personally, and uh, maybe you are too. And of course, you know, how these things resonate with you have a lot to do with your own personal natal chart and the placements of your planets um, and how sort of in tune you are with you know, the energies as well, how, how aware you are of those kinds of things. Um, okay, so having said that, I'm going to show you the cards that came up for us. Um, the first card that came up for us from the, the Wisdom of Avalon deck is the king. And the king is an authority figure. And, um, you know, if you're a, a good king, then you're a just king and a kind king and a wise king. And um, you take your responsibility responsibilities seriously. Um, and the king also is like the male 
drive, like divine, the divine masculine energy that we all have, right? No matter if you're um, male or female, we all have divine masculine and divine feminine within us. Sometimes those things are out of balance. Um, so as I said, I got that card and then I wanted a little bit of clarity. So I went to the witch's tarot and came up with the page of wands. So the page of wands is, as you can see, it's like this young teenage boy, um, enthusiastic, exuberant, um, very creative energy, uh, really wanting to kind of just leap into it and go for it, right? Start something new, do something new, try something new, explore, all of those kinds of things. So then I thought, okay, I think I know where this is going, but just for clarification, let me uh, pick one more card. And so I did, and that was also from the Witch's Tarot, and the Emperor came up. <laughs> so Emperor um, associated very much with, uh, with the King, that first card. So, you know, the emperor, he is, again, he is benevolent. He, um, you know, he's earned his place and he doesn't take that lightly. He is a protector. Um, he is an authority. He is kind and just and takes his job seriously. So what does this all mean for us? Well, this is what I uh, am getting. What I think is, um, we may be feeling very much like, you know, on the precipice of starting something new um, or delving uh, into a new creative project, whatever that means to you. And when I say creative, that doesn't have to mean, you know, specifically like the creative arts. So much more um, is covered under that umbrella of creativity, right? So we may be feeling like, um, you know, there's, there's something bubbling up and something new that wants to happen, but we're not quite sure what that is. And what I feel like is that it's really time to take that seriously. Um, and, and to be responsible with our gifts and to really connect with them and to protect them and to own them and be the authority and use that creative power that we have in good and benevolent and, um, you know, productive and wise ways. Use that in integrity. And um, so it's kind of you know, no coincidence, I suppose, that part of what I've been doing over the last couple of days is uh, I've been painting, um, to make a long story short, I, I started this painting a while ago, um, and, you know, for, for a few different reasons, but but I started this painting a little while ago, and I decided that over the, the next couple of days that uh, that I would finish it, and I'm still working on it, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to show it to you. Still working on it. I'm not finished, but I'll just give you a flash of it here. Um, you can't even really see the whole thing, but there it is. I don't know how well the colors are translating. But uh, so I, I've been really feeling like personally this this is pertaining, you know, to me very much in the sense that I, I'm feeling the need to be very, to be creative. Um, not, not only do I mean, you know, again, like with the visual arts or the creative arts, but just in, in my life in general, and to have a little bit more um, enthusiasm for that, you know, um, to, to be a little bit more, to bring more joy into my life and um, to also take that responsibility, like take that seriously, right? Take it seriously and see where these gifts might, uh, might go. Um, so I don't know if that's making sense to you or if that's resonating with you, um, on some level, but I really encourage you to think really, um, deeply about your own sense of creativity and connecting with that, you know, inner child. And, um, are you feeling like something wants to 
to come out, right? To come out of you, some kind of creative project or something that a spark that needs to be rekindled. And uh, take that, take that seriously, own it, own that power and, um, you know, see where it takes you. Don't take it lightly. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope that that message resonates with you and uh, I love your feedback and I would really love for you to subscribe here on YouTube. Um, you know, if you're feeling these videos and you want to see more of them, then I would really love that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm taking a few days sort of downtime here to, to, as I said at the, the top, just, I am really feeling the need to sort of do that and to sort of recalibrate and, uh, and reconnect. And then, um, you know, I'll be back at it and uh, some new projects underway and that kind of thing coming up. All right. So thanks so much. Take care and I'll, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.